Hello everyone, welcome back to Exademy Redefining Education. My name is Prabhash Kumar and I am teaching you Engineering Mathematics. We are still in the first chapter of Engineering Mathematics which is Basic Concepts and in this video we will be entering into lesson number 9 which is Analytic Geometry and in this Analytic Geometry we are into subtopic that is Circle. So what are the topics that we have already covered? So the first topic that we have covered in this analytic geometry is two dimensional coordinate system. Second thing that we completed is straight line and in this video we will be covering circle. So circle is a very short, very crisp and very easy topic. So let's get started. So how to define the circle? When you define the circle, it could be defined as the locus of all the points, right? So, so how will you define a circle? So circle is the set of all points in a plane in a plane make sure it is a plane right so that means it's a, it's a two dimensional figure so circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point in the plane right so how will you define this circle so it is the collection of all the set points see here so green color line as you can see here so these circumference this, this, this circumference as you can see this is the collection of all the points so it is a collection of all the infinite points here. So whichever point you choose on the circle, each point will be making an equidistant from this center. Right. So that is the, that distance is called as the radius. Now if you are interested to find the diameter, simply take the double of the radius, you will get the diameter for that. So next thing that we will see is the equations of a circle. So there are different formats of writing equation for a circle. So first format is equation of a circle having center h k and radius r. So what is center h k? So if the center is given in terms of h and k and the radius is r. So the equation of the circle will be x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. Right. So this is your circle. Now so suppose the center point given you is 2, 3 and the radius is 7. So simply substitute in this. So the value of h here is 2, value of k is 3 and the value of r is 7. When you substitute here you will get x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square plus 7 square. So if you want to simplify this further you can simplify or if you don't want leave it. Next format of equation of a circle is with the center point given which is at the origin and the radius r. So this is a special case of the first one. So in the first case as you can see the value of h and k can be anything. But in the second case the center is at, at the origin. So when the center is at the origin can you say what is the value of h and k? Yes it will be 0 comma 0. So the value of h will be 0 and the value of k will be 0. So when you substitute 0 here in h and in place of k also is 0. So you'll, the equation that you will get is x square plus y square equals to r square. So this is the equation of the circle with center at the origin and the radius r. Third format we have is parametric equation of the circle x square plus y square equals to r square. Okay. So as you know that the radius sorry the center of this, uh, this particular circle is at the origin. So if the center is at the origin and the equation is x square plus y square equals to r square. So the parametric equation for this will be x equals to r cos theta and y equals to r sin theta. Right. Parametric equation. That means x and y are changing with respect to theta. Last format of equation of a circle is the general equation of a circle. So this one is out of all the four, this, this fourth one is quite very important because one time in a DRDO exam it was asked in a, the general equation of a circle. So the question was framed from this general equation of circle, right? So if you don't know the general equation of circle, you won't be able to even touch that particular question. So the general equation of a circle is x square plus y square equals to 2gx plus 2fy plus e equals to 0, right? So this is your circle. The radius for this particular general equation of circle is minus g minus f. The radius is r and how will you find this r? r equals to root under of g square plus f square minus c. So from where you will get this g, f and c when you want the given equation will be compared with this general equation. You can easily compare get the value of g, get the value of f, get the value of c, substitute here you will get it. Right. So as I told you so circle it was a very short, very easy and very simple topic but if you don't know the different formats of an equation of circle you would face a rather problem in the upcoming 
um, uh, engineering topics, right? So it is very important for you to know the different formats of equation of circle. And that's why I made this lecture very short, very crisp and very simple such that it gets deeply feeded and easily feeded inside your brain, right? So in the next lecture, we'll be meeting up with some new videos. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.